Southside Cantina, we recently opened up. Um, the whole style is meant to be comfortable, casual, you know, really beach focused. It's a beach cantina. It's meant to be a place where, you know, you're, you're in sandals, you're walking off the beach, you're grabbing a quick bite. Uh, Felicia and I were very heavily inspired about an experience we had uh, in San Diego about 18 months ago, you know. Uh, checking out fun areas of Pacific Beach and Ocean Beach. One of the things we really enjoyed was just that experience of, hey, grab a quick bite, grab a quick drink, and kind of just kind of enjoy the space, enjoy the natural scenery throughout the area. Um, what separates us and kind of where I think we put our focus and showcase on is that we make all the tortillas in house. Um, we definitely put, you know, a lot of those signature flavors that you'd expect, but there's definitely a, a craftsmanship that we put forward with it. And, uh, you know, again, it's a new restaurant, so we're very much, you know, building it to the area similar to like when we opened anchor uh, it's definitely going to be a process and a growth but you know we're really kind of fine-tuning our experience that we had 18 months ago to sort of the likes wants and needs of the area and the direct feedback that we're getting so obviously we opened a little bit later than we wanted to we were shooting for Cinco de Mayo at first um, restaurants weren't allowed to be open quite then um, so our plan changed also construction just took longer we were very unsure of what was going on um, so we were able to open by the end of June which was fantastic, um, right in time for 4th of July. Um, but training is so much different now. Um, there's so many more protocols we have to take. There's so many more products we have to buy to safely seat the restaurant and take care of our guests and our, and our staff. Um, so adjusting for COVID was a little bit easier here because we were able to get a jump start with it over at the Clean Anchor first and really dial in on what wanted our protocol to be and how to follow the guidelines. So here, I mean, you kind of lose that late night crowd. Um, you can only have six people at a table, but that doesn't mean you can't drink and have fun with your friends. Um, so we try and be as kind and hospitable as possible to everyone. We've participated with CCYP in the past. Uh, it's, been, it's really been a great mutually beneficial relationship. Like it's unlocked the door for us. You know, lots of network, lots of like-minded entrepreneurs on the Cape, you know, trying similarly to, to grow their businesses, uh, to, to find synergies, to just, you know, us expand one another's networks. I mean, was, you know, we were fortunate enough to be able to host the Bash last year, and, you know, even though these are crazy COVID times, we, we absolutely wanted to uh, find a way to participate this year, and, and we thought you guys had a brilliant idea with the, the, the whole virtual approach to it, and we're really just, you know, very appreciative of being, a part, being able to be a part of it. Our offer is our house-made guacamole and house-fried chips.